Hi everyone, let's take a look on how to connect BotPress and more specifically your chatbot to make and to trigger scenarios based on captured information from the chat participants. Um, in order to do so, you I assume you've already bought the app, you've used it, and we now jump into a scenario and we use the watch variables trigger, which is uh, an instant trigger. And let's create a new one. It's really simple. You have a connection first. Uh, it's a yeah, it's a webhook. Simply click click uh, OK, and then you already have the URL. Perfect. This is all we need in in Make for now. Let's jump into WordPress. So this is how it looks like in your um, in your workspace, and you have a chatbot. If you click here to edit it. You can jump jump right in so this is how it looks like for me i've already set it up but we will basically build it again so um all you got to do is here create a standard node for example and then have a text which says um, please fill out this information you can make this nice right so people actually fill it out and then the first step, which is important, is that you add a card, add a card, um, and you use the capture information uh, cards here. So, for example, if we use the raw input and say, um, "What's your name?" Uh, we are now asking the user what's what's his name or her name, <clears throat> and then. Uh, to, to send it to make, it's important to store it in a variable. Uh, I already have variables here because I've set it up, but for you, this will probably be empty and you need to click uh, select create or like create variable, but uh, you need to put it in like first name, for example, and then, then it says create first name. Um, and now you've got the variable create first name, which is later available for us to send to make. And you can do this with even more. For example, uh, let's add an email uh, card. What's your email? And again, you would now create a variable or I already have one and I can use that. And you can also do this with multiple choice questions with what all the other um, question types uh, or uh, kept information capture types you can see here. So let's delete. Um, or we can use it, but yeah. So the last step is you, you've got all the questions, the information you want to capture, and now we need to um, send all of this to make. So what we do is we add a card, and this is where we choose the execute code. And don't be afraid, it's copy and paste. And we put it in the comments or in the description. Um, so this is all you need. Um, you do probably, two or three adjustments. So the first one is the URL. So um, yeah, I, I will put it into the into the description like this, webhook URL. So you simply replace that, you remove it, you jump into make, copy the webhook URL, and then paste it here. That's it. And the other thing is that you need to properly um, yeah, display all of your variables you want to capture, right? So for me, it's the workflow.name property, the email and the favorite fruit, because these are the variables I've used here. Workflow email, workflow name, and workflow favorite fruit. Let's delete this one. Um, yeah, so you, you put them like this data, and then this is something you can set yourself however you want. You could put one, two, three, four, but this is how it then reaches make and how you can then view. That's the name of the variable inside of make. So if we close it, we can test it and you can see it. Yes, confirm. Um, ah, there's already a conversation here. Let's say hi. Uh, hi, this is a text. I want to send data to make. All right, what's your email? Great, Richard at, at synergetic.com. Uh, let's first make sure that our scenario is safe and up and running. 
and I'll make sure to, to have it side by side. So yep, this looks good, great. <clears throat> like this. Oh, it's small now. Um, yeah, let's do it like this. What's your name? My name is Richard. And what's your favorite fruit? Coconut. Okay, so now it's sending the data and we already see it, it's here. And as I told you, this is how it how it then reaches me. And as I left it at, ma at name, it's, it, it's in make with a name variable. And the fruit here is fruit. Although it's inside of BotPress, it's favorite fruit. But as I said, this is the part where the code this here determined how determines how it's uh, reaching make and yeah well now you can uh, do with this information whatever you want you can save it in a google sheet you can uh, save it in your crm you can save it in um in your project management tool so um yeah it's basically endless here as you know you can send an email um yeah that's uh, that's it for now um, I hope it helps you and if you do have any questions, please let us know. Bye-bye.